In our last example, we set up a bunch of menus, but one thing that we didn't actually implement was the open and save option. And part of the reason for that is because doing that properly requires using a file chooser. This is a little dialog box that pops up and asks you what file you want to use. In order to use that, we need to put in another import here. It's import scalafx.stage.filechooser. Why is it inside of stage? Well, because the file chooser is its own window. And as was discussed previously, a stage is kind of like a, uh, a window, at least in an environment like the one that I'm working on right now. So now that we have that import, we can come down here to the bottom and we can add some code for open item on action equals e is an action event and what do we want to do in here well in order to use the file chooser first we have to make one so we'll make a new file chooser and I'll call it file chooser and then the file chooser has methods in it for saving and opening and when you call these and it pops open the dialog box it returns a file so we'll make a val selected file equals file chooser dot show in this case we're writing open open dialog and you have to pass it the stage that it's going to be over the top of well fortunately we have stage and scope from right up here and so if we just say stage we will get that stage that call is going to block it's going to sit there and wait for us to actually select something when it is done selecting something there are kind of two possibilities either it will um, either it will have the file that is there or it will give us back null if the user canceled their selection either way we can take the labels text and set it equal to open and then plus selected file and we can see what that prints out like we'll run our program see if I've mistyped anything and here we go so under file I'm going to select open and I get this dialog box which has all of the files that we've been working here under GUIs because this is the directory that we're running in and it's the standard type of dialog box let's go ahead and select menus because that's what we're writing right now and our label changes to open of that and it tells us the file if I do a cancel it'll say open null so when you're actually writing code that works with this you probably want to have an if statement so that if the selected file is not equal to null then you do whatever it was with the file otherwise you don't do anything because the user didn't give you a file to work with that's the open action we can copy that and make something for save turns out that save is going to start off the same way we're going to make a file chooser <clears throat> and now selected file is not the show open dialog but show save dialog goes across the same stage and we'll make it so that our message says the right thing here so if we test that out, notice there wasn't much of a change going from open to save. It's basically the same type of code. If I do save now, I get uh, a dialog box again. Looks very similar. Now it says save instead of open. And this is, uh, I guess, more willing to allow me to, to type in things to use a different file. And if I cancel, we can say that it see that it says that I didn't select anything. So that is the basics of the file chooser. And if you're going to write programs where you have open and save options, this is probably how you want to allow the user to uh, pick the file that they want you to work with.